I'm going to film this while I'm eating because quite frankly I need to film a video and I'm too hungry to wait any longer. Oh, I hate carrots. So I've been living below the line for um, about 19 and a half hours now. Not a fan. Breakfast, I didn't have anything. I just had a water. I know that the earlier I eat, the hungrier I get in the evening. The evening's when I tend to want to eat the most. So I decided just to not have breakfast at all. Lunch was pretty grim. I'm gonna, not gonna lie. I can't even talk. Lunch was pretty grim. I'm not gonna lie. At 10 p.m. last night, I realized I probably should make some lunch. Um, so I made some pasta and then chucked in 100 grams of canned sweet corn, half a can of tomatoes with some Cajun spices and some water to try and make the sauce go longer. This was 37 pence in total. However, uh, I put too much water in and basically ended up with soup. Just pasta filled soup. And this is my dinner, just mixed in the curry with the rice. Um, I took my favourite curry recipe, I basically tore it apart. I took out the chicken, I took out half of the spices to make it cheaper, and I added chickpeas instead. It's not as nice as it usually is, mainly because I have, you know, a lot more spices in it, but it's, it's still good. To make it, fry a bay leaf in a large frying pan with a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a finely diced medium sized onion. Then add two teaspoons of ground ginger, 500 grams of passata and two tablespoons of curry powder. Stir until everything is nicely combined, then add a can of chickpeas, 500 grams of frozen vegetables and 700 mils of boiling water and a stock cube of your choice. I went for uh, chicken. Let it boil 25 minutes, stirring occasionally. And then just before you're ready to serve, stir through 150 grams of like natural yogurt or fromage fries, something like that. I added 60 grams of plain rice for uh, 10 pence. Pushing the boat out here. Made this whole meal 46 pence. There are five more portions of this in the pan and I'll be eating it like every single day this week, which is okay. I'll try and find ways to make it more exciting. It's not ideal, but it's got a lot of vegetables in it and that's the important thing here. I'm really conscious of trying to be healthy and not just eat toast or whatever. So having said that, I'm up to 83 pence today, so that means I might have a poached egg on a slice of toast for supper. Or I could have some hot chocolate. Who knows? The world is my oyster. I've got 17 pence to play with. Man, I hadn't realised how hungry I was until I started eating this. It's so good. Today hasn't been too bad. I'm aware this is partly because last night before bed I had a massive Chinese takeaway. At the moment my donations page is looking very, very quiet. I have uh, one from me and one from my mum, so um, I'm hoping the rest of you are just waiting to make me suffer a little bit more before you donate, because otherwise that's going to be really embarrassing at the end of the week. Tomorrow's meal so far is this, exactly this for lunch, and then I'm going to try um, Jack Monroe, she has a recipe for mac and cheese on her site, which is 43 pence, and I've tweaked it, and I can get it down to 30, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Um, it's been okay so far but I'm aware that I've been doing this for one day and the people out there who live in extreme poverty do this every single day their whole life. I cannot even begin to empathise with them because I cannot ever experience how hard their lives must be, but this isn't fun. I know that at the end of the week I can go back. I've already got like a nice meal planned on Saturday. I know that this is, this is an escape for this, but there are people all over the world, there are children all over the world who can't escape from this. They just have to stick it out. And that's horrible. Please donate and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.